Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So the diet bed starts tomorrow and I'm super excited. The pot is over a thousand dollars so I know you guys are excited about that if you wasn't able to join the diet best for one reason or another I hope that you start your own challenge for yourself and you follow along you guys know I will be posting videos to assist you guys out this challenge and if you don't know anything about the challenge um, I will post a video right now it will be um, in the little eye icon click that check out that video right now and then come back to this one so that that you won't be left behind the diet bet link will be in the description box if you have any issues um, with signing up getting your word anything like that please email support at waybetter.com which I will put that in the description box as well please email them they normally respond really really quickly also you guys in the app itself there is a chat room that you can talk back and forth so when you're in the app all you have to do is go down to the bottom click on activity and you will see you just scroll and you'll see the chat room where everyone is talking um, or the form rather you can update um, you can post pictures as well um, you could just do quick updates and all of that and I will be posting things there as well and also responding to you guys there as well I will continue to scream this from the rooftop. The most important thing about trying to lose weight is food. If you do not find that balance, you won't lose weight like you want to. Now I'm sure at this point most of you guys have already mapped out in your head what type of food plan that you're going to be starting. Well before you commit to that, so first I want you guys to spend the first five or six days focusing on your meal plan. Now I know most of you guys probably already got mapped out what you're going to do, what your plan is, but I want you guys to rethink it. Have you tried that before and did it work? If it worked but for some reason you wasn't able to stick with it, then we need to evaluate that and see why. And what I mean by working is you could be losing weight. You can be on a plan losing weight and it works. But for whatever reason, we're not able to stick with it because of motivation, temptation, um, willpower, whatever it may be. So for example, if you have a medical condition that makes it hard to lose weight, that should be your main focus for the next couple of days to be Googling, researching, reading books, seeing what helps in your situation. Most medical conditions have a food plan. For example, if you Google um, a meal plan for thyroids or something like that, you're going to get a lot of suggestions. So that should be your main focus this week, trying to find food, food plans that will help with your medical condition if you have a medical condition. Now, outside of any medical conditions that may be preventing you from losing weight, if you just can't lose weight because you're not motivated or you feel as though um, you just can't do it you're not motivated you don't have the willpower that is something else well here's the time to find that motivation it kind of comes down to do you care about yourself more or do you care about your next meal more and I don't mean a good healthy meal you guys know what I mean it's like which one do you care about first it's not really it shouldn't be a debate. Getting that motivation and that willpower is easier said than done. Y'all know I know this. I know this. Um, it took me a while to find that balance with food. Uh, when it comes down to emotional eating, we will address that um, in a couple of days, probably in a week. I really, like I stated, I really want to focus on finding a plan that works. My foods have changed so much over the years and I want to show you guys how it's changed. So y'all know when I first started my journey, I cut out everything. Sweet chips, I went cold turkey because I was pissed. But once I came back to reality, I started cooking and eating real food. 
Now, these are not foods that I was eating every single day, but these were foods that I was incorporating into my weight loss plan because these were some of the type of foods that I was craving and I was wanting them. So I just changed the ingredients up, make it a little bit healthier for me, and it worked. It's funny because I think I've only made a lasagna maybe once after that. Mm. So it's time for me to get to cook, and I think I'm going to remake that recipe. You guys, my pony was so cute, wasn't it? Oh, I miss my, I miss my trainer. Not that much, but I miss it a little bit. And y'all know I absolutely love sweets, so I had to get creative on my journey. I have lots of videos with lots of dessert ideas, so check those out. That whole playlist will be in the description box, and I will put it in the video as well. But I, I need to remake this. Oh, oh, oh. This is one of my favorites. I haven't had it in a while. And these are just videos and pictures of other foods that I've eaten throughout the years. Just giving you an idea, letting you know that you can eat foods. You just eat them in moderation, change it up a little bit. I chose some of the batter foods so you guys can see what I mean. And that's a great example. I wouldn't eat those type of chips nowadays. There are so many different types of chips out there that are lower in calorie, lower in carbs, or even just overall healthier for you. So at the beginning of my journey, I was making choices like that, but now I make different choices. I also have videos for you meal preppers. If you're new to meal prepping, you need help, anything like that, check out that playlist. I have several meal prepping videos as well. And also on the playlist, my mom cooked one of my favorite soups. I need to get her to cook for us again. But yes, I love that soup. So as you guys can see, my foods have changed throughout the years. I wouldn't say that I made the healthiest choices. Even now, I don't always make the healthiest choices, but I've found that balance. I don't want you guys to wake up in the morning and be like, no more soda, no more chips, no more candy, etc. If those are things that are a part of your life every single day, it is unrealistic to completely cut it out. You will feel deprived and you will go right back to the way that you've been eating, if not the next day, the same day. If you're deciding to meal prep, that is a great way to go. It helped me out for years. Um, I, nowadays, I cook um, enough food to last me two days. So I cook like on a Monday, then I cook again on a Wednesday, etc., etc. As my schedule changes, I might have to go back to food, um, meal prepping. Um, but as of now, I've been cooking about every two days. And one tip, you guys, that I want y'all to keep in the front of your head throughout this whole challenge and throughout your whole journey is don't allow yourself to get hungry. And I don't mean just, you know, you're um, at the house or whatever and you just feel hungry and it's time to eat or it's time to eat and you go eat. I don't mean that kind of hungry. I mean where you didn't meal prep, you don't have anything cooked or you're out and about and you're starving and <laughs> you want to eat. That is a huge no-no because it's a good chance that if you're out and about, you're really, really hungry, you're going to probably grab something really quick at a fast food joint. If you're at home and you're really Really, really hungry you're probably not gonna get up and cook you're probably gonna run out and get something real quick to satisfy your appetite so you guys I want y'all to keep that in the front of your head because what I've realized over the years is yes I like sweets I have cravings for sweets and chips and things like that but if my tummy is satisfied I'm not gonna eat a good healthy meal and then turn around and eat a huge bag of Doritos
it's just not going to happen. That's just not how it works. So just always make sure you have your food prepared or some type of meal plan so that you can always stay on track. I know a lot of people don't like to meal prep. That's perfectly fine. But if you do not like to meal prep, you need to plan your meals the day before every single day. Know exactly what you're going to be taking into your body. Also to help, I have a couple of um, websites that I absolutely love. Y'all know Cal um, Calorie King. That is my app. I still love that app to this day. You can go into the app and like if you want to just know how many carbs or calories in the food, it helps so, so much. I love that app so much. I like Spark Recipes. I like well, um, Weight Watchers Recipe app. Both of those are apps. I really, really like those. I love Food Education. I love, love, love that app when you can go into the, school, uh, go into the store and scan anything and it's going to tell you the ingredients and if it's good for you. I love that app. I will put all those apps in the description box. So are you guys ready to rock and roll? I am ready to rock and roll. Um, when I set this date for this challenge, I did not realize it was midterm week, you guys. So I have been running around here like a mad woman. It's been long hikes. I've been trying to film and edit. I've been falling behind on everything. I've been studying and just doing so much. It's been so crazy. My hair has been neglected. Um, it's been over two weeks and I haven't been able to, you know, wash it. And y'all know I let my hair air dry. So I'm trying to find a day where I don't have to really go anywhere so that I can wash it. I know you guys want a update. I will do that. And I'm also going to dye it. I'll just try to make it all a part of one video. Um, so yeah, but it's been so crazy. For example, Monday, I don't meal prep, um, but I cook like every two days, like I told y'all. So this particular Monday, I had my meals um, kind of mapped out in my head because I was going to be away from home all day and I didn't really want to carry food with me. So I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna go to this restaurant, which is an awesome restaurant. I have choices of different salads and all this great stuff that's really within my um with that my meal plan. Well, I really, really love this restaurant. When I pull up, they were closed. Closed for remodeling. Who closes during the week? Y'all could have did that on Saturday and Sunday. They probably was doing it. Work quicker. Anyway, so I just stopped at a buffet and grabbed me a, he made me a huge salad at, um, Golden Corral. I made me a huge salad and I rocked it out. Golden Corral salad bar. I've shown you guys that in a previous video. That is a go-to. You can make your own salad and then it won't be crazy expensive. So keep that in mind if you're out and about and you want something or you need something. They have an amazing, amazing salad bar. So again, the diabet starts in the morning. If you haven't joined, click on the link in the description box to join us over a thousand dollars on diabetes is on the line other monies other prizes and a new life all is on the line so let's get it you guys i love y'all and i will see y'all soon